JS displacement, V-Ray displacement, let's talk about that. <laughs> Hey, what's going on internet? My name is Mina and today we will be playing with the JS Displacement plugin to generate this very cool looking uh, sci-fi penance effect. So let's jump right to it. Alright, so let me walk you through the scene here. So what I've got here is a plane that it has a V-Ray Displacement node to it applied and we will be using the JS Displacement plugin. It's free. I will leave uh, the link that you can download it in the description to generate uh, this panel texture that it has all of these electric lines and all of these cool little details to it and if you look closely here you can see that I have different levels of glossiness and that's because I have used a black and white grunge map texture uh, this one, you can see it's here to give me a different level of reflection glossiness so we can have uh, high reflective areas and low reflective areas then what I did was I have used a V-Ray blend material to combine a black V-Ray material and a V-Ray light material and I've used a the curvature node to blend between them so we have the light appears on the edges of the objects on this displacement so it's kind of neat we can do a lot of things using this technique and uh, let's jump right to it alright guys so we are here in Maya so let's make a plane let's scale this up and let's make a light so let's come to create lights and V-Ray Dome light and in here I will enable use dome texture and in the, in the dome texture we can add a file this hdrstudio.exr and for the filter type I will set this to off so now if I open the render setting I will set this from from Arnold to V-Ray and we can enable the GI so run the IPR and uh, there we go we got a simple plane so let's assign a V-Ray material so we assign new material surface V-Ray material I'll call this plane for the diffuse color I will make it black and the reflection the reflection color we will set it to white as you can see now we have the reflection appears it's just reflecting the environment right now and here's a trick in reflection glossiness as you can see it's reflective now we can have a file texture this crunch texture that I have showed you this crunch.png press open and now it's set the filter to off and now as you can see we have this crunchy uh, different level of uh, glossiness appears on the reflection amounts alright so what we can do next is we can apply the V-Ray displacement material so I will select the plane then go to create V-Ray and V-Ray displacement and I will apply a single V-Ray displacement to selection <coughs> and we have the V-Ray displacement tab appears here okay let's jump to the the JS displacement 
and the, the way it works is we have different kinds of displacements so say if you like this one it says here click to generate so I will click or uh, use a hotkey and press R okay so as you can see we have this uh, this panels uh, details and it's very high res okay, so I like this one you can start to play with the settings to have different variation I like this one so I will press save just save and there you go there it is as you can see it's very high resolution that has all different these kind of details here awesome so in the displacement material we can have a file and we can assign the JS file that we just made press open and let's turn off the filter type alright what we can do now is in the V-Ray displacement we are going to add attributes to control the V-Ray uh, the displacement so and under attributes V-Ray we can add a new attributes we can add a subdivision and displacement quality you will find it under extra V-Ray attributes and we can also add the V-Ray displacement control let's copy this tab here so let me first uh, open the IPR to to see what's happening here okay as you can see now we start to have these details that appears on the surface of our plane but as you can see it's not really a high res uh, mesh so we can increase it to have more details so let's just render a part say this part here okay and let's increase the amount of subdivisions so it's not very high mesh so we can increase this to like 12 and for displacement amounts we can make it two okay now we start to have this rising along rising up the surface so let's disable the rendering area all right so it looks very cool it appears on the surface like this and oops sorry and uh, as you can see we have different levels of displacement Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump in the node editor and I'm going to make a V-Ray blend material. I will assign this to the plane. Okay. And for the base material, we, we are going to have the V-Ray material. So I'm going to Windows Browse and I'm going to add this plane material as uh, the base material. So I'm going to middle click and drag and assign it in the base material and for the code material it's going to be a V-Ray light material so let's add a V-Ray light material here alright let's add this in the code material and for the blend amount it's going to be a V-Ray curvature I can say it. Okay. So there we go. Um, as you can see, the very light material bleeding over the whole shape instead of just being around the edges. So we need to customize uh, the V-Ray curvature node to get uh, to get it to work. Uh, just around the edge of the material of the displacement <clears throat> so to do that let's add let's jump to the V-Ray blend material and the blend, and the blend amount let's 
uh, customize this a little bit so let's just render this part here okay the sample spread which means that it's not going to be on or around the edge it's going to bleed over so we can decrease this say instead of 0.1 let's make it 0.3 and for the scale instead of the scale of one we can have scale of point two okay now let's uh play with a very light material let's have a white you know, instead of white we can have something more uh yellowish something like that I think is going to work and for um, for the direct illumination we need to check that and let's increase the color multiplier this one let's make it three and as you can see it's now uh, it has a glow to it if you didn't check uh, the direct illumination uh, it won't have the glow effect okay I think it's way way too bright and it's too noisy so I can do is instead of three let's make it two and for the V-ray curvature let's adjust that spread we can decrease it to 0.1 Three. Now, as you can see, it's it's, be, it's it's getting more and more being defined just around the edge instead of bleeding over the whole uh, surface. The sample spreads as you are decreasing this; it will make it a less bleeding, and it will have it will have the effect just around the edge. The scale. The more you increase the scale, the more defined and the sharp it will be. Now I think 0.1 to decrease it. And so the, instead of having it be too much or too strong, maybe even 05. Alright, so this is this is the technique that I have used it to make this. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the tutorial, my name is Mina and please subscribe because I'm having these tutorials coming up next week, almost every week I'll have a tutorial, so if you want to learn something new in Maya each week, please uh, subscribe and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time, bye.